Well, Matt, you didn't play during the week. One of the guys rested, but it was a, a really good win, wasn't it? And has that uh, given the whole camp a lift? Has it made the, the move positive ahead of the weekend? Yeah, it's um, important in games like that that you um, you get the win. Um, obviously, it's a cup competition that uh, we, we want to try and win. Um, so the boys done a good job and uh, yeah, so hopefully we can carry that on on Saturday. What are you like when you've got a watching brief for a game? <laughs> it's, it's not nice, you're, like, you'd rather be on the pitch playing but um, the manager picks the team and uh, yeah, well, if you're not in it you just support the lads. Yeah, it's keeping everyone on their toes isn't it? You know, the competition for places, everyone when they're called upon doing a job. Yeah, we've got a, a big squad here and uh, for the cup games, like you see, the manager likes to make uh, lots of changes and yeah, so it puts pressure on the boys that are starting. Yeah, Liverpool next in the uh, quarterfinals, but first of all, a tasty match against Jurgen Klopp's men uh, at the weekend. It, it should be a cracking occasion. Yeah, it's going to be a great occasion. Um, these are the sort of games that you look forward to when when you get promoted from the Championship, the Man City's, the Liverpool's, the United, Chelsea, games like this you look forward to. So yeah, it's going to be a great occasion at Villa Park. And the reality is, back to back Saturdays, you're testing yourself against some of the best attackers, not just in England, but, but in world football. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. when um, you play against players like this, you always like, like testing yourself and see where you're at as as a player, um, what you need to do to improve and uh, yeah, games like this sure brings us like the best out of you and um, yeah, it's going to be a big challenge. They've only dropped two points all season in the Premier League but I guess they've got to lose sometime. <laughs> yeah, Saturday would be nice. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously they're a fantastic team, they're strong all over the park which is, which is, um, which is good for them but um, yeah, we, we're we're going to do our videos and uh, we're going to see where, where we can um, exploit them and uh, cause them uh, damage. And Liverpool have actually gone behind in their last two league outings. Does that give you a little <laughs> crumb of comfort at least? Yeah, we, we know we can score goals against anyone in this league. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's trying to keep the ball out the, out the net is probably the biggest problem for us at the moment. Um, I don't think we've had a clean sheet for a while, so we need to start uh, keeping more clean sheets, but um, for sure we're creating a lot of chances in the final third. Yeah, what did you take from the game at the Etihad? I mean, you, you held them for the first half. Yeah, first half was great. Um, obviously frustrated them, um, had a, a few like, half chances, but um, yeah, the start of the second half uh, killed us really, and then the second goal should have stood, should have like shouldn't have stood. Um, but yeah, that was a real kick in the teeth. But um, no, nah, when when you go to places like that, you you want to express yourself and uh, try and try and do the best you can. Still early days, isn't it, in terms of the standings and where you are in the table? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> There's so much football to be played. Um, uh, two more games before the international break so it would be important to get a few more points and uh, yeah um, like you said there's, there's so much football to be played. And one particular player I wanted to ask you about in their lineup, Andrew Robertson who plays in your uh, position, what have you made of the way he's progressed as a uh, player? It's been amazing. Yeah it? it's been incredible. Um, I don't think anyone saw the um, player that he is now at, at Hull so when he moved to Liverpool, you, you're looking at it like, wow, like, how has he got that move? But to be fair to him, he's been fantastic and as a player that I, I look up to now, yeah, for sure. Do you look at players who occupy your role on the pitch at other big clubs and almost learn from them and, and monitor their games? Yeah, you, you always look at people that play in your position and see what they do so well and what, what, what you can learn from that, um, I think. That's, that's all part of the game. You, you learn from other players, you learn from coaches. So, yeah, I think uh, Robertson has been fantastic. Yeah. I guess you're looking to continue where you left off in the last home league game. That wasn't a bad finale, <laughs> was it? Yeah, um, so, yeah, looking, 
looking back on it, it was, that was such a massive goal, like um, especially with Man City and now Liverpool. So it was so important that we got the three points that day. And the buzz around the stadium, the way you celebrated, uh, the, the supporters, the noise levels, it, it was brilliant, wasn't it? And, and yeah. I, I guess you, you remember that and you think, oh, we, we'd love to, to recreate it as many times as possible. Yeah, exactly. You always want to win at home in front of your own fans. Um, I think that's, that's so important, especially in the Premier League where you get a good consistency at home and uh, you, you make it a fortress. Um, I think we can, we can do a bit better at Villa Park. Um, but sure, there's so much games to come and uh, I'm sure we will, yeah. I noticed Bjorn Engels' his partner is a, a Liverpool fan, <laughs> as are a family, so that's going to be an interesting one in their household. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah that's, uh, hopefully Bjorn can cause an upset in that household. <laughs> yeah, and how, how's he um, developing, do you think, uh, his relationship with, with Tyrone and, and yourself and, and Frederick in, in the wider positions at the back? Yeah, I think um, they've developed a great partnership. Um, Tyrone and Bjorn, um, I think they've been fantastic. Um, so yeah, they've been they've been good to play with, and yeah, um, it's been it's been nice. Yeah, yeah I was uh, having a, a chat with uh, Tom Heaton as well, and he's a, a really interesting character, isn't he? he? Has such good knowledge of the game. How good has it been to have him at the club, and, and how are you benefiting from his sort of words of wisdom? Do you want? <laughs> yeah, uh, Tom's. Uh, top class keeper. Um, he's played at this level for a few years now, and uh, you can see how good how good he is. Um, the experience that he brings to this team is massive. Um, so yeah, he's he's always talking to us in front. Um, so yeah, he's helping us out massively. And is uh, Jack chomping at the bit to to be ready for this one? Yeah, he he loves being being out on the pitch, so yeah, I've, I'm sure he's doing everything he can possible to be ready for tomorrow. You seem to be enjoying life as a villain, Matt, is that, that fair to say uh, so far in your first few months in, in Clarendon Blue? Yeah, it's been, it's been good. Um, obviously, I had a little setback at the start, but now, now I'm really enjoying it, now I'm out on the pitch.